Alhamdulillah, we're so happy to have you this evening. You know, you are a major part of our community. And you know, for a long time, you've also discussed and opened doors about black Muslim history, right? And especially in Canada. And tonight is one of those nights. And so I wanted to know, you know, what did you see in this film that either surprised you or that resonated with you? And what part are you really proud of? Uh, yes, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Uh, I wanted to congratulate uh, Buddha Muhammad and Mahmoud Hassan and the whole crew for this excellent uh, work that they have done. And um, uh, I want to um, ask Allah to bless them and to make them to grow in strength. Uh, this is a very important point because I've been working in the community for over 40 years and I've watched the youth come and go and grow. And I recognize, because I'm originally from the United States, the power of the media. The media is literally shaping the way people think. And uh, one of the points that resonated with me that Buddha said is that Muslims are storytellers. And, but, but the ability to tell the story has been taken away from us. And so, you know, if, if you can't tell your own story, somebody's got to tell it for you. The Quran itself is filled with stories. Um, and this is a way to relate. And so this is crucial at this point in time to, to offset the propaganda and the Islamophobia and the things that are happening. The second point is that the issue of violence, gang violence in the community uh, is, is, is really important, not only for Muslims, but for the whole of society itself. Even the National Basketball Association, they're reeling because this player named Ja Murad from the Memphis Grizzlies was shown with a gun, you know, trying to be a gangster. So everybody realized gangs are one of the biggest diseases in the world. I lived in Jamaica for four years. I live in South Africa for 10 years. And so I was amongst some of the worst gangs maybe in the world. And I realized the danger that they pose to the community. And so it, it's important for, for our youth to see that yes, you might fall, but Allah is most merciful. You know, and there is a way out. And so this is a this is a major breakthrough. And, um, you know, I would consider it to be an Academy Award. You know, it makes my heart, you know, feel rest assured to see people like Borda and Mahmoud and Yassam, you know, coming along that there's hope for the future. There's a new generation, you know, inspired by Islam and with creativity. And as we say in America, they're keeping it real. The, the product of our homes is going to be the product of our communities, right? And so we need films like this. We need to take up spaces like this and to have capacity on this level. And I mean, people like you have paved the way and now we're here, you know, I said a flex, mashallah, and they are seeing the Muslims and they are hearing the Muslims and they're watching the Muslims. So we want to thank you so much for also paving the way, you know, before all of this. And inshallah, we hope to see you at the next one and the next one and the next one and that you keep Bona and the team in your du'as, inshallah.